Greetings everyone. Uh, this recording uh, is a sequel to the discrete choice model estimation in SPSS. Earlier we showed um, in our previous video how we could estimate discrete choice models, um, especially McFadden's logit model in SPSS using the Cox proportional hazard um, routine that is available in SPSS. Now we would like to show the same in state and are. In order to understand this uh, session, this video, it would be helpful if you were to uh, first view the video that we prepared for SPSS. Um, the video is available on YouTube at this uh, particular URL. Um, please review this first and um, um, the reason for this suggestion is that we explain how the data are organized, what are the choices, what are the data sets. We would of course explain this uh, briefly, um, the data set and the choices, but the more important thing is uh, if you could view it yourself, uh, that would be more beneficial um, in understanding the background to the models. Put simply, we are looking at what impact choices. In the discrete choice example, we are looking at uh, a choice being made um, that is about the make of a car, the national uh, brand, American, Japanese, and European. And we're saying what are the characteristics such as age, income, and sex um, of an individual that influences their choices. Similarly, what are the attributes of the, the alternatives um, or the choices such as price, availability, and popularity that may influence the uh, individual's choices in this case. Here you could see that uh, um, um, the question, the three, uh, how, the couple of hypotheses that we would like to test, how does the number of dealerships accessible to a consumer uh, would influence their choice of national brand and does gender play any role? What about income? And um, the data set uh, looks like this. Every individual is repeated three times in the data set. Uh, individual one is male, earning $46,700. Um, choosing American, uh, Japanese, and European cars, this is the choice set. And the choice um, in this particular case, the male uh, earning this much money um, is European car, and that is illustrated by one here. And this uh, individual uh, had five vehicles, uh, sorry, why five dealerships accessible to him uh, for European cars, eight dealerships for um, Japanese cars, and 18, 18 dealerships for um, American vehicles. The command I'm using is called ASC Logit. You can um, find help for this command just by typing help ASC Logit and you could get uh, uh, status help. And if you could see it here, you could see that you can actually see how the command is run and all the details are available here. Um, I will show you uh, one demonstration. Um, again, ASC Logit is the command. Choice is the choice variable from the data set and dealer is the dealer number of dealerships and then notice there's a small comma that separates the um, alternative specific variable and separates it from um, individual characteristics so you type case variables case VARS and in parentheses all the variables that represents individual characteristics for example male income possession of driver's license and so on and so forth you use the command case and in parenthesis ID to represent the um, the fact that the individual is repeated multiple times. Each row does not represent an individual. Each row represents uh, part of the decision making structure um, of an individual decision maker and in this case three rows constituted one choice and therefore this accounts for this. Um, the, the, the fact that each row is not independent it, it belongs to a group. And the alternatives uh, is the command that um, tells the model uh, what variable contains the, the alternatives. And in this case, auto brand is the, is the variable that tells the model that the three alternatives are American, Japanese, and European. So all I have to do is click here, enter, and the model is estimated and it's, it's estimated in a matter of seconds. And, and you could see that uh, the individual, uh, sorry, the alternative specific variable dealership has a positive coefficient, is statistically significant, and it suggests that more dealerships 
co is correlated positively with more sales the likelihood of a particular brand being sold increases with the number of dealerships and you could see that males are um, less likely to buy Japanese cars um, all else being equal and males are more likely to buy European vehicles all else being equal and all else in this case is just dealerships and income lastly we demonstrate how one can estimate the same model using R which is a freeware um, it's a free econometric software R is primarily a uh, command driven environment until um, um, a recent innovation from McMaster University is R commander which you could see here in the in the screen it's a GUI like environment you can actually uh, click on these uh, very uh, these point and click environment you can fit models just like you would do in SPSS and whatnot um, the um, R being a freeware it's being improved uh, consistently by hundreds of researchers and one of the improvement was the mlogit algorithm that was developed by um, another researcher so before you estimate a conditional logit or a McFadden logit model in R you have to tell the data set you have to inform the model um, about the structure of the data set and therefore this command here that I will demonstrate um, it has to be executed once for every new data set I imported the data from Stata and I call that data um, when it was imported as data set right here and um, the command is called mlogit.data and in our uh, environment I call the new data set data1 and then with less than a hyphen sign which makes an arrow um, saying that whatever happens here is assigned to this frame or this object called data1 and R being an object oriented environment uh, so I use the, the command mlogit dot data and then identify the data set that exists and then this command choice is equal to in in quotes choice to tell or inform the model what my choice variable is and then comma shape is equal to in in quotes long which is uh, an internal command and then comma alt dot levels um, is equal to C and in parentheses and quotes American Japan and European the three choices and and then once you have uh, typed this you press enter or submit and it uh, is communicated to the software um, that the structure of the data set is is now ready to conform or it now conforms with how we would use it in in, in R We're using mlogit uh, estimation this command then allows us to reshape the data set so that it could be read easily and uh, by this command called mlogit once we have um, formatted the data I use the same structure mode 1 is a new object that transfers this mlogit models results to this object and I say mlogit in the print in the parenthesis choice is a function of dealer and dealer being the um, alternative specific variable and then uh, individual specific variables are separ separated by this sign and then after that I just add income plus mail which are the two variables that define the characteristics of the individual decision makers and then comma data is equal to data one to identify the data frame and then this model is estimated I'll just click here submit and it has estimated the model and I say summary and submit and it shows us uh, the summary of the model which is here it calls in this function these are the frequencies and the estimated model is here the results are identical to what we have estimated earlier in SPSS and Stata um, and the two alternative specific constants um, and then dealer is the alternative specific variable and then followed by the two uh, variables income and mail interacting with Japan and Europe as the alternative specific um, as the two uh, choices uh, compared against the base which is American uh, cars